Reid returns to Goodison Park today as the manager of Manchester City. The biggest influence on his career is the manager of Everton. And this is how they line up. Certainly an adventurous formation. You can expect to see the likes of Nevin and Bigri getting forward to join Sharp as often as possible. No fewer than five former Everton players in this lineup, and City relieved that strikers Heath and Quinn are able to renew their partnership again following injury. Peter Reid back on his old stamping ground. 34 now, took charge of Manchester City 10 games ago and has won half of them, one of Howard Kendall's first signings when he went as Manchester City's manager in December 1989. Quinn is the target, and Quinn met it well, and it breaks to Megson. How did Neville Southall manage to get himself behind that shot? It looked odds on Gary Megson scoring. Ebrill for Everton. That's a lovely ball, but there was a suspicion of offside, not given though as Nevin goes on. Well saved, it comes to Beagre. And how about that? Eat your heart out, Hugo Sanchez. Peter Beagre scores his first ever goal for Everton and gives us a celebration to remember. But Manchester City will complain here that Beagre and arguably Nevin as well were in an offside position when the ball was played. Nevin going on and producing that excellent save from Coton and Bigri shot in off the foot of the post to give Everton the lead. And he finds Sharp, who finds Sheedy, and it back to Sharp and no offside again. And Coton with a good save. The Manchester City players turn angrily towards the linesman on the far side. They felt they might have had the benefit of an offside decision again then. This is Bigri. Cut out by Henry, back in from Bigri. Sheedy with a spectacular goal! and goal by Kevin Sheedy that's as good as you'll see all season I would think an acrobatic effort well there won't be many better goals this weekend than that one that was a classic goal as we know he's got this sweet left foot of his but what a lovely volley and really the goalkeeper well as he's playing today couldn't get anywhere near that one sharp near post Watson behind him Good header away by Redmond, it comes to Ebrill. That was good goalkeeping again by Tony Coton and John Ebrill so unlucky. He must have seen that late Coton, there were a posse of players in front of him. Redmond forward. He's getting in behind the Everton defence. Southall saves it, right, gets the rebound. Wide of target. Quinn wins it. Clive Allen! Oh, that was so close, so very close. And White trying to get in behind the Everton defence and Allen, but the uh, flag has gone up, the goal won't be allowed. It was almost a spectacular kick as uh, Kevin Sheedy's in the first half, but it was ruled out immediately by the linesman's flag. And there's White there. And really, you, you have to say that was very debatable, wasn't it? And it was a marvellous goal, really, by Clive Allen. Sheedy again. Oh, a splendid effort! That was unlucky from Coddy. But they created enough to win the points today as Roger Milford blows the final whistle. Confirmation that Everton have beaten Manchester City by two goals to nil.